The American Recovery and Reinvestment Act. From the National Science Foundation, this is the Aura Report. This is Skynet. On a closed course, it can drive over 55 miles of city streets, obeying laws and merging with traffic, without a driver. But for researchers at Cornell, that's not enough. Mark Campbell and his team want to take this vehicle to the next level of intelligence, making it safer and smarter. Backed by a $1.5 million NSFRA grant, Campbell and colleagues hope to design a system that can intelligently navigate and successfully adapt to ever-changing traffic conditions, including being able to distinguish between cars and trucks, as well as pedestrians. They also hope that elements of this research can be integrated into safety systems in human-operated vehicles. The systems could warn of collisions and recognize if a driver is asleep or impaired. The team also plans to work with self-driving Segway transporters that will be programmed to work together as a team for search and rescue. The National Science Foundation has awarded $20 million to universities in 17 states to improve cyber connectivity for academic research among educational institutions across the state. These awards are expected to broaden individual and institutional participation in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics research and education activities within and among states. Today, an estimated 500 million people live close to active volcanoes. Explosive volcanic eruptions are driven by the expansion and bursting of gas bubbles in magma. A team of researchers at the University of New Hampshire and Lehigh University believe that by studying the size of these bubbles, we could better understand the process that ends in dangerous eruptions. Backed with an NSFRA grant, Alexander Prosevich and his team will develop a new technique to analyze the bubbles and imprints they leave behind on natural ashes from recent eruptions at Fuego, Mount Spur, and Mount St. Helens volcanoes. The hope is to better understand the relationship between bubble formation and magma and the dynamics of volcanic eruptions. This new tool will also be used by volcanologists studying other aspects of volcanic activity, including hazard assessment of past and future eruptions. That's the Aura Report. I'm Dina Headley.